He tried turning it off and on again. Sage advice, my friend. Sage advice. Hold up, dude ain't strapped, yo. Bang! That's better. No, wait, I probably shouldn't have turned it off and on again. I seem to have reset that rule of three dig. I just loaded up OBS Studio. New update available. I am a glutton for punishment, so I click update now. And someone with a ride on lawnmower is just outside. Me and you against the world, baby. Well, it's half an hour later and everything's a rootin' tootin'. So we're all about the resolve. Initial impressions. Screen format is perfect for video capture, so no finogling required. And it automatically goes to my second monitor too, which is fantastic. Shows a lot of promise they have things under the hood done right. Or as us Aussies tend to say, Yeah, he's fixed things up under the bonnet, mate. Well done. Right off the bat, I would like a settings option. I would also like an option to recenter my view. Uh, the menu button, perhaps? Anyway, I'll go through some of the things that I think will be of interest to the devs. First up, create a community group for Defenders of the Realm VR on Steam. Replace intro sound effects with one that does not have the audio jungle audio overlay. Add a settings option to the main screen. We've got to look after those lefties, so add an option to switch hands. I would like to be able to use the other trackpad to turn left and right and go forwards and backwards. It is becoming more prominent among the VR community to actually have this, and some people won't even touch a game with a 10 foot pole without, quote, proper movement, unquote. Left and right movement is more prone to causing motion sickness than anything else, so you could provide the option of a blink mechanic for those if you want. Of course, you should be able to tweak all of this in the setup menu, which we are yet to see. I would like to be able to recenter my view with the menu button. Add an arrow to the front of the blue line indicating the enemy's path. I would personally center it because having it off to the side makes it look like some sort of anomaly or a bug in the game. Um, or change it to something like footsteps instead. I don't know, that would be kind of cool. Change press any key to push the trigger. Some English text wraps in the wrong place that needs fixing. In fact, fix all the English, please. Uh, and if I was going to be a real stickler, I would mention that some of the animations do not loop properly. There is a cool technique you could use in Maya to loop your assets perfectly. Ask the animators to get in touch with me and I can show them how. Overall, they've done a very nice job. Um, at this point in time, there is no storyline, which would be nice, since the title Defenders of the Realm seems to demand it. More or less, it is a tower defense game, or should I say a portal defense game? which, in essence, might be construed as just another wave shooter. I think games of this ilk really need something different to help them stand out from the rest. Uh, and, and, as this one is a work in progress, I'll be interested to see what, where they'll take this. I think they will have a lot more sales if they put a very low price tag on it. Again, the name perhaps suggests it is something more than what it actually is, but if you understand that it isn't, then you aren't going to be disappointed, are you? Pick this one up if it's really cheap, because the gameplay and the progression in difficulty is really, really well done. Thank you for watching guys, and have a wonderful day!